Now, from the bleachers to the end zones, gridiron suckling down the coast. Live from the largest sports team on local television, this is Friday Football Focus. We have a jam-packed Friday Football Focus show tonight. I am Mike Klan. Let's get started. We begin at Peabody Stadium at Santa Barbara High School Senior Night for the Dons SP hosting Dos Pueblos opening Dons Drive. Abel Renteria to Kai Malt, 30-yard gain. Dons honored 12 seniors. One of them was running back Kai Herrera. Works his way into the end zone. Dons jumped out to a 7-0 lead. Next possession, they're right back in the end zone. Renteria to fellow junior Winston Bartley. Touchdown, Santa Barbara, 14 to nothing. After a Don's fumble, DP had the ball in SB territory. Ryan Marsh to Kean Green for a nice game. But the very next play, the Don's number 14 takes the ball away. That's Julian Espinoza with the interception. Santa Barbara on the move behind their big, talented quarterback, Renteria. Abel punishing would-be tacklers. A few plays later, Abel Renteria doing it himself. Five yards out, 21-0 Dons after the first quarter. Santa Barbara's defense pitched a shutout last week, and they were zeroed in again tonight. Murphy Cisneros had a couple of sacks in the first half. Another Don senior, Nathan Barrios, out of the backfield with a short touchdown catch. 28-0 Santa Barbara, late first half. Don scoring again. Renteria, quick hitter to Bartley at number 80, doing the rest. He goes down touchdown alley to make it 35-0 Santa Barbara. Don's roll, 49-0, second straight shutout. The 7-1 Dons play at Buena next week. That's a huge game. Bulldogs on by this week. Great Channel League matchup in Oxnard tonight. Rio Mesa at Pacifica. You knew Cinerae wouldn't miss this one. Well, that's right, Mike. What a matchup we have here tonight, and league is on the line. You know, Rio Mesa is coming in tonight's game with one loss in league against Santa Barbara, and Pacifica is undefeated, looking for another shot at the league title. But if you know one thing about Rio Mesa, you know that they love a challenge, and that's exactly what they will be getting tonight here at Pacifica High School. The Dragons hosting the Spartans, and we'll pick it up in the first quarter. J.J. Bittner connecting with Chance Harrison. That's good for a Spartans first down, and that would eventually lead to a 30-yard field goal kick by Matthew Romero to give the Spartans an early 3-0 lead. To the second quarter, more Spartans. J.J. Bittner this time to Henry Borjas, and check out the spin move. Avoiding two Tritons on the tackle. Now he's gone for a real Mesa touchdown. Spartans now leading it 10 to nothing. Same quarter, more Spartans. The handoff to Jalen Wingo, and he blazes down the field 57 yards for the touchdown. Spartans now up 17 to nothing. Now no one saw this coming. We head to the third quarter. Tritons looking for a comeback. Tack Harrison launching it down the field and check out the great catch by Savion Taylor and putting the Tritons in great field position. A few plays later, Harrison looking to connect to Taylor again, but this time Chance Harrison coming out of nowhere for the interception. Now that would lead to this, the handoff to Isaiah Bautista. He would go into the end zone untouched. It was all real Mesa in this one tonight. The Spartans grabbing a huge win on the road over Pacifica tonight with the final 24 to 7 in handy and the Tritons their first league loss. Next up, Pacifica will remain at home with the Battle of Gonzales Road as they take on Oxnard High School and Rio Mesa will host Dos Pueblos. For Friday Football Focus, I'm Senator De Los Santos. Thank you, Senator A. Four-way tie now for first in the channel. Rio, Pacifica, Buena, and SB all 5-1. and one. All right, staying in the Channel League, San Marcos also in Oxnard to face the Yellow Jackets. Early on, Oxnard scores first. Andrew Maria to an open Marcus, Marcus Mendez, 7-0 Jackets mid-first quarter. Oxnard adding to it. Maria to the sophomore standout. Isaiah, Isaiah Dillon, 14-0. Second quarter, Oxnard driving. Nobody open. The Royals get the turnover. Owen Lauderdale, reigning Santa Barbara Roundtable Athlete of the Week, gets the pick. Royals march down the field. Josh Engel. Buying time, floats it up to number 88, Luke Crawford. He's got it for a San Marcos touchdown. Late in the first half, it's 14-6 Oxnard, but on the ensuing kickoff, Oxnard gonna get that touchdown right back. Elijah C. Davis gets to the outside, no one's touching him. 94 yards on the kickoff return for the touchdown. They get the two-point conversion. They led 22-6, and Oxnard dominates and wins. Final score, 
46 to 14. Royals are home to Channel Islands next Friday. On guard, battle for the shield in Orchid, St. Joseph and Reggetti and the Rooster. Hey, Mike, we all love a good rivalry, don't we? Dodgers, Giants, Duke, North Carolina, or my favorite, Dryers versus Briars ice cream. Tonight, 1-6 Reggetti will be looking to get their first win in this series since 2014. Meanwhile, St. Joe at 6-1, they're just looking to stay on top of the Mountain League with mission prep. Let's get to the action. The battle for the shield on the line tonight. The Knights lead this series 8-4 since the rivalry was renewed back in 2010. Warriors open the game with an onside kick, so great field position for the Knights as they respond. Opening drive, Darian Mensa to Carter Vargas, and he scoots into the end zone at 7 to nothing, making that one look easy. Warrior defense would be big in the first quarter, but now we move over to the second quarter, and it's third and 20, still 7 nothing Knights, but hold everything. Mensa dropping back and finding Colin Fossey in the end zone with a spectacular catch. That's restaurant quality there. It's 14 nothing Knights. Then a little bit later, Knights knocking on the door again on fourth and five. Mensa calling his own number, getting the ball down near the goal line and picking up the first down. And then a couple plays later, he's going to give it right back to Vargas, who walks in like a man on a Sunday stroll, make it 21 nothing at the half. St. Joseph rolling. Move over to the third quarter now. Warriors trying to respond. Braden Claiborne handing off to Nicholas Martinez. He gets into the end zone, but there'll be another penalty flag in this game. There were a lot of flags in this game, more than you'd see at the opening ceremonies of the Olympics. So that touchdown got called back. Then Mensa hooking up here again with Fossey, make it 28 to nothing. Knights just too much for the Warriors tonight as they go on to get the win 34 to seven and now have won eight straight in this series. All righty, Rigetti gets another tough test. Next week, Mission Prep will come to town. St. Joe, they'll walk back across the street and welcome in Lompoc, a team they've never beaten. In Orca tonight for Friday Football Focus, Kevin Roos, Mike, back to you. All right, Kevin, thanks a lot. We're going to stay in the mountains when we come back. Highlights from Lompoc and San Inez, and then later, Mission Prep.